Hey guys, it's Forrest Strills here. We're back in Glasgow, this time in the Apex Hotel, and this is the Duplex Suite. We're here for another room tour, so let's take a look, show you guys around. We are certainly impressed with what we've seen so far, so I hope you are too, because to me, this could be one of the best kept secrets in Glasgow. So let's go. So I'm going to start you guys off just by the door when you come in, just behind me, right on the door there's your fire escape plant and just next to that we've got your key card, insert that as usual, get your lights, walk, there we go and just below that your door shines, do not disturb and Please refresh my room. And I'm not actually sure what that is. Leave a comment, let me know. I've never seen that in a hotel before. So, turn around. In the room, to the right, there's a bathroom. I'll show you guys that in a bit. We've got this little nook in here. A little seat. Cozy. Next to that. Open up the cupboard and... Little hidden wardrobe. Our jackets are in there, of course. Up out there. Not too sure what that is. Oh, that right there, guys, that's your hair dryer. <laughs> if you're looking for it, it's hidden in the wardrobe. And beside that, can't forget a tea and coffee station. A couple of little mugs there for your coffee. There's the mug there. My wife's actually used the other one. Kettle and plenty of supplies. Teas, coffees, decaf coffee, galaxy hot chocolate. Nice touch. We've got border biscuits. Lovely as well. Some salted popcorn there in the corner. And a little bottle of red wine. Down below, we've got our safe. And what I really like to see in a hotel, if you watched the last vlog, you'll know, a mini fridge. Fully stocked. We've got Diet Coke, Coke, a couple of Heineken beers, white wine, sparkling and still water. And Schweppes orange juice and some milk. I should also mention everything in the fridge and in the tea and coffee station is complimentary if you're in this suite. It's also a really nice touch. Next to this, we've got two wine glasses and Little black glasses as well. Got a telephone. If you need to call down to the reception for any help, use that. This is actually really cool. Uh, it's a little vanity mirror. Got makeup to do. Also, close that. Work desk. Got a coffee machine there. An espresso. There's the coffee cup that was missing. Anyone else using espresso? Tried it? What do you think? Personally, I'm a fan. Little lamp there. Oh, and hidden plug sockets for the coffee machine. These were really cool. A couple of artwork pieces, I should also mention. They're actually hand numbered prints. That's number one out of 250. And this one over here is number three. Also signed by the artist himself. 
off with pieces. We've got a little chair for the desk, just behind that, a couch and my wife's handbag, and this giant lamp. Cool little rug and table. And then we've got our TV, really good size, it's a Samsung TV. Above that, we've got our air conditioning unit. And beside that, a giant mirror. And just next to the toilet as well actually, here's your controls for your aircon. And this actually controls the blinds. I'll show you that shortly, but the view in this room is incredible. There's another sneak peek around the room. Another really cool feature of the duplex suite is the bedroom is actually upstairs. So, look up here. This is the way of the room. There's some more artwork on the wall. Numbered prints again. Awesome feature. If you follow me, here we go up the stairs. Da -da -da. Honestly, this is a lovely hotel. Look at that. Big double bed. Your towels laid out neatly. Besides the bed, besides, beside the bed. Couple plug sockets your switches for your lights and a lamp on this side or for the other side if we go over here there's another TV in the room the look is Ed there's ours, don't worry, that's not complimentary <laughs> your TV remote there another mirror bedside table with some of our clothes left on it couple plug sockets down here, switches again, and another lamp, this one is off there, it does work. And on this little desk there's more plug sockets. Now there's this little cupboard here, if you open it up, it's a hidden away wardrobe, really cool feature. That's going to be my word of today. Really cool feature. Got a bathrobe there. Ironing board hidden away at the side. And of course, you can't have an ironing board without an iron. And down below here as well. I've not actually seen this. Ah, uh, I know what this is. This is a laundry service. I'll just slowly scroll up that if you want to take a look. Feel free to pause it. Got all your prices there. Per item, dry cleaning. Close that over for you. There's a little chair for the desk as well. Not forget that. And the best part about the room right here look at the view we've got in this room the window is enormous sorry about the reflections we've got all the lights on i've came back upstairs and i've turned the lights off just to show you guys really what this actually looks like no reflections and just fully appreciate that the windows here they are massive but it just really gives you a breathtaking view. Amazing. And also, in the room, we've got a balcony. You can see down below, where I just showed you. But I, honestly, I can't get over how nice that room is. That room, that view is. That room as well. This room is lovely. 10 out of 10. <laughs> I 
Next up, the bathroom. As soon as you enter, here's your shower. Shower head just up above there. Nice and shiny chrome. That's for toiletries. I really like the tiles here. Cool look there. Lovely scent. Very round. Just up above that. We've got some complimentary toiletries. These look lovely, so I can't wait to try them out shortly. Soap. There's hand and body wash, hand and body lotion, lip conditioner. There's shampoo and hair conditioner. Along with a little washcloth. Next to that, there's some tissues. Another couple of glasses. This. Oh. I'm falling into the door. This is a giant mirror. One side doesn't open. The other side, I'll show you. I should close the door at the back of me so I can get in. The other side does. There's a bath mat, a spare toilet roll, another washcloth, a shower cap in there, and that's just a little sanitary bag as well. Close that over. See me in the mirror, of course. Toilet roll and your toilet. Up above there, we've got this little nook where you can find a towel reel. Oh, and on the door, another bathrobe. Really like this bathroom. Nice, clean, and I'm an absolute sucker for free toiletries. <laughs> nice touch. Again, 10 out of 10. Here's the view in the morning. Still just as good. So, there we have it guys. That's the room tour done here at the Duplex Suite in Apex Hotel. Let us know down below what you think of the room. The room itself, we have no complaints visually about this room. At first, we would say this place was actually perfect. I would have given it a 10 out of 10 score for everything. However, there's a few serious points I want to make about our stay that really ruined the entire experience for us. Firstly, there's a couple of minor things, some scuffs on the walls and upstairs the banisters a little bit loose. I can I can really see past those and I'm sure a lot of you guys watching that visit hotels would see past things like that because that's minor, it's a little cosmetic thing. However, last night at about nearly 10 o'clock at night, I can... It's hard to actually describe this, um, but I can only describe it as the walls here are paper thin. And when I say paper thin, I mean really paper thin. The couple next door to us, on the right hand side, I could hear everything. And when I say everything, I mean over the noise of the TV, I could hear everything. And let me just tell you, mate, she was definitely faking it. <laughs> and on the other side, just shortly after that, it sounded like they were probably having a party. <laughs> yeah, it may have been having fun, but when you're paying for a suite, you really don't expect to be able to hear things like that. We did phone reception to raise the issue and absolutely nothing got done about it. It felt like when we phoned, our problem was brushed to the side. And so far, we've not left yet, but so far, we've not even had an apology, which is extremely disappointing. It took this stay from probably a 10 out of 10, down to maybe about a 7 or a 6. This room is top class, but that just really, really ruined it for us. We paid 154 for this room on booking.com 
Um, I was meant to be about 198 according to that website. Maybe it's more in the summer, but let me tell you, if I'd paid 198 for this to happen, I would have went ballistic. Saying that, £154 for a room, for this to happen, not even an apology, is a really big letdown. Our night sleep we had, that was great. The bed was comfy. It was honestly perfect until, again, the neighbours in the morning on the left hand side this time must have started having a domestic. There was a woman screaming that she was going to slap somebody in the face. Some really loud swearing. We phoned the reception again. The man in the reception was nice. I'm sure this was the guy when we checked in that we had. Um, Irish fella, really chatty, great friendly guy. But he told us someone else had also complained about this. Um, and nothing was done. Nothing's happened. Still no apology though. Um, I urge you guys, come and check this out. This hotel, if you do like what you've seen. It is a great room. It's just unfortunate what's happened to us. Had it been some normal couples just looking to have a nice getaway, quiet, relaxing weekend break, I'm sure we wouldn't have a single complaint. But I'm not sure what Apex could do. Apart from that, this room's been perfect. Um, another minor thing I should actually mention is when you stay in the Apex, I'm, sh I'm not sure if it's just the sweets, but usually you're meant to receive a rubber duck. And I've read online each duck for each different Apex hotel is meant to be different. We did phone down about that and unfortunately they were out of stock. Um, if we ever decide to stay here again, hopefully they're back. That's nothing major, but something cool that we could have took away from the trip. Hello, it's Callum from the future here, and we've checked out from Apex at the Duplex Suite, and upon checking out, the manager, or should I say desk manager, reception manager, Damien, um, he managed to sort it out with us. We explained the situation and everything that happened with all the noise. We ran over that we'd had to phone, explained the whole thing, and he was great. We've managed to sort everything out and we can't thank him enough for actually listening, unlike the reception staff when we phoned last night and in the morning. So, Damien, thank you. Let us know down in the comments, has anything similar happened to you guys when you've stayed in a room away for a night? Uh, how did the reception deal with it? What happened? Comment down below your experience. Um, if you were us, what would you have done? And if you can, please leave a thumbs up on the video for us. Subscribe and thank you for watching. Until next time. See you guys later.